war is inevitable. It's a penta! You get your ass in there and get those kills! You've made the right choice. This wasn't in the script. Time for Marcin Cobb! I think it's just when she starts complaining and goes out. He's just like, keep slapping people with a fish. I'm a wizard! Every time I hear you talk about support, I just think of the family guy meme. Split push! Victory is ours! Yeah! Howdy, folks. Welcome to episode 57 of the Split Push Podcast. Feeling rested and relaxed after a day in the mountains yesterday where the weather was just beautiful. But now, it's back to smite. And along with me here today, first up, is Dirt Nap Dan. Hey, what's happening, everybody? And we got my good buddy Guy. What's up, everyone? It's Beagle Girl. She's back. You guys are lagging like crazy, but hello. Oh, no, you're Thank lagging you. like crazy. You're lagging like crazy. Yuki. Beagle sounds like a robot. Well, Yuki. Like Yuki, Yuki has been you? lost. He might be found, but we don't know. Are you say Yuki? Yes. So he may show, he may not. You know, it's life. Card. It's how it rolls. Sometimes it gets in the way. But... We do have a very, very, very special guest with us here today. Yes, and we do. That is, as I like to call him, Mr. Breeze, but it is the one and only Fanatic Breeze. Fanatic? Oh, hello. Or Frantic, sorry. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's the old me. I saw enough letters to make it look like Fanatic when I looked at it. And, you know, the F in the beginning, C in the front. You can jumble what's in the middle and come up with different words like yeah. this old man does. But anyway, howdy. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Ah, well, like I just said, I'm I'm pretty rest, rested and relaxed. I'm ready to play some Smite. Well, I did last night then, uh, and actually again this morning. So I'm looking forward to some Games of the Week talk. But before we get to there, Mr. Frantic Breeze, um, <laughs> yeah, got it right that time. Why don't you uh, <laughs> tell the podcast world there a little bit about yourself? You know, why Smite? Uh, what you do with, you know, the game and so forth, and why you like sea turtles. All right, so I'm Breeze. I come from Sweden. I'm 20 years old, and uh, I actually started by playing Heroes of the Storm professionally, but then Blizzard uh, kind of shut down that game's uh, esports scene, and I was uh, a bit lost looking for somewhere to go since I wanted to keep playing, uh, like, esports. I wanted to keep competing. And uh, I tried playing some different games, but eventually I just landed on playing Smite. And uh, after about three months of playing and playing the game, I got into the SML team Outcold, and now I'm here. Awesome. So, uh, w what role do you play for for those guys? Uh, I play the support role. And I kind of just started playing the support role because it was the most uh, equal to the role I played in HOTS, which was the main tank, where you kind of just you run around the map, do your own thing, gank some people, ward some stuff, etc. Yeah, I, I I like the support role. I th I think uh, you know a lot of people get get blinded by the big numbers from you know the the mages and the hunters and want to do all that damage and and. and carry the day per se but there's a lot to be said for playing support well because it really sets your team up i mean we i just played an assault this morning i'm like i actually got up earlier than i needed to like what the hell like well you know i'm relaxed so let's go play a game of assault before we get started i draw knocks and you know i didn't play the uh a, a true support knocks but i just kept like you know the way this game is playing out I can just, yep, lock you down. My team's going to kill you. <laughs> there you go. Bye-bye. Next. All right, who am I going to lock down next and just watch my team kill? Because it was just like an avalanche every time, just pouring over this other team. But uh, actually, the beginning of that game was, was quite interesting. So the enemy team is three hunters, a tier, and a Zeus. And the hunters were, um, oh, who were they? I didn't even pull my guru up. But it was, well, I remember 
There was definitely a, <clears throat> excuse me. Are there was definitely issues? an Artemis on the other team. It's fucking guy's potty mouth is creeping into me here. Yeah, he's just <laughs> making you so. Tell like, everybody I'm like the rated R host, and you guys are like the PG-13 host. Oh my goodness! But anyway, as I was trying to say, so yeah, they had three hunters. They had an Artemis, a Cernanos, and a Chernabog. I didn't think this match was going to go well. I mean, I had a pretty good team with me though. I had Athena, a Merlin, a Nuwa, and a Scotty. I'm like, you know, this ain't a pushover. But they got three hunters and an, an assault. Add that up with a Zeus and a, a you know a Bruisery tank. That's a really good combination and can run away with the game. But uh, op- opening initiation, I'm like, well, I think the thing that my team actually has to worry about is the Zeus. So I two one comboed him, hit him with my ult, and left him at one hit point. I'm like, oh son of a bitch! And as I'm like dismayed as I'm watching his hit hit points creep back up a tad and not die, I realize, oh, the enemy turnbog is, is, is got his shards up my ass. I better fucking run now. And I, I make it back to the tower alive. And, you know, it was kind of a hectic fight that didn't really go either team's way because we both just un- did, you know, unloaded some damage in some spots. But in the end, I made the turnbog quit the game because, well, I kept locking them down and then my team would kill them. And that was pretty frustrating for him. I was very frustrated with the Artemis. She pigged all, all the right fucking times, but dude, that was a hell of a game. Uh, but how your game's been going lately here, uh, Mr. Breeze? Uh, I actually just got out of a German Gander support game, and mm. uh, I was about double dude, the damage of the rest of my team. Already. Dude, it, dude, was a, it was a great game. Man. Do, do regale me with this. <laughs> regale? I love German Gander, yeah. What's that? Oh, I don't know. I just love Jormungandr. Dude, he's he's the shit. Yeah, I I haven't played him much before, but uh, I I got the solo role, and then I just locked Jormungandr, and uh, somebody asked me to swap, so I got support German, but I still just went kind of full brucery and just uh, going invisible in and ganking the enemy Hera all game long. She ended up zero eight, <laughs> so nice. it, it was a uh, it was a pretty good game. Oh yeah. Dude, he's, that, he's yeah, he's so awesome. Yeah, I really like playing him. And whenever you're in trouble, you just ult out, probably kill two more while you're ulting out as well. Yeah, I like dude, it, man. For the first time ever, I was in a game yesterday with Yorm. I couldn't ult out. They were just the fucking Kernanus was killing me that quick. <laughs> I'm like, as soon as you got on me, I'd be like, try to get out. But they had stuns, and I just couldn't get, could not get to that gold part fucking fast enough. And then I would be dead. I was like, son of a bitch. They, like four or five times they got me. And and that was amazing to me because I'm usually pretty good at like, all right, it's getting rough. I need to get out of, you know, into alt mode and go. And actually, you know what? New Wa killed me as I landed on my third alt with her alt time just perfectly. <laughs> I was like, you son of a bitch. Like, really? I had to give her props for that one. Yeah, Jorman Gun is really strong right now, especially Bruisery. I just oh, I hate. Oh him. man, when they buffed his basics, mm. I <laughs> loved it because that was like my least favorite thing when I jungled with him too. Was like, man, these basics blow. I can't clear a camp now. No problem. I played him solo and did pretty well. All right. By that I mean literally zero zero and zero because that was the most boring I'm game. Smiling and nodding right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh what, get any other good games going there mr breeze uh i'm mostly just uh practicing what the other supports in the league are playing because i don't have a lot of experience in the game yet and i'm trying to just pick up what other people are doing and try to learn it as fast as i can especially so my team can be ready for the next phase where we have the chance to qualify for the world championship I mean, you must naturally be really good because you've already been picking up by a team and you've not really been playing Smite that long, have you? No, as I said, I, I only played Smite for about three months before getting picked up. Uh, Damn. And That's I awesome, I mean, I, I've been playing uh, MOBAs like right. since uh, Heroes of New Earth came out, basically. 
So I played League a lot, I played a lot of Heroes of New Earth, and especially like Heroes of the Storm, obviously. I played professionally for about three years or so. But none of those are really like Smite, so what, what kind of drew you to Smite? Uh, I mean, I played a bunch of World of Warcraft as well, where you kind of have the same uh, overview of your character and everything, and right. then mm-hmm. the the game sense of a MOBA, right? So, it just in mm-hmm. general, I, I really love to play video games. Like, I just play all the video games that are uh, competitive, pretty much, and I pick up all these things from all the games, and when I put them together and just uh, want to get good at a game, I think I can make it happen pretty fast with my past experiences. Oh yeah. That is pretty amazing. Well, I'm not good at anything, but yeah, definitely agree with pretty much everything you said there. I don't know. I just I, I you talking about Yorm got me all thinking about him. I haven't played him lately, but I did get to play one of my comfort gods last night when uh I made a guy's son give me raw in uh in assault last night. And I did something a little Different than usual, I started off with Rotatootie first, thinking, you know what, maybe that'll help kind of balance my healing a little bit here early in the beginning, you know, be able to get that little extra boost when people are low, right? And while I missed the cooldown from having uh, Chrono's Pendant first, I definitely, definitely um, loved having Rotatootie. Oh my goodness, D- Dan, how good was that heal? Because oh I was God. also leveling it up first, because we had other wave clear and everything. So I played mainly heal- healer and damage. That was what I was playing. Yeah, uh, I was playing RDO that game, and man, it was just like, yeah, this is great, because I would be low health, and my usual thought process for the situations that I would have been in were, Fuck the raw heal. The raw heal ain't gonna do shit. I'm leaving. But I stayed in the raw heal this time because damn, that baby was ticking me up. Dude, it was, it was so amazing. Just throwing my health bar up the fucking hill, dude. Dude, it, you were Ario and Herg was playing Achilles, mm. and I was just throwing that that heal wherever the fight was. And he was, he was, you know, he was calling, and he's like, oh, I'm throwing it back line. Oh, someone's stunned front line. Someone's stunned front line. Changing, changing. It's like, so we all knew where it was going to be. So yeah, we all knew it was <laughs> Oh, my goodness. There are so many kills from that heel circle, too. So many kills. I, was, I ended up 7-1-13 and 13 in that match. And uh, the one disappointing thing was my raw alts were just not spectacular you know i i would hit some people you know and 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 whatnot uh had a few misses but the beams oh my goodness there were so many people where i'm like yes i gave them the tip they got the tip and (laughs) they were dead and uh oh just just a great game i just fucking i'm so comfortable playing raw that you know you just He's got that extra movement speed, and you just kind of get that glide on with them, and people can't hit you. You're just like, you know, if they do get close to you, you know, you get your two up, and thank you for making it easy to do damage to you and and, and rough them up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, dude, just buffing that 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 heal early, throwing the, the rod of Tahuti right in there off the beginning. I the, when I died that one time, I went back, I bought. Chronos Pendant, cooldown boots, and tier one of a pen item, and went back out. I never died again. There was, it just wasn't going to happen. The heal was just phenomenal. But, yeah. Uh, I love Ra. He, him and Yormi, and Chalk. They my gods. Yeah. I haven't Man. seen much of Chalk, actually. It doesn't seem like he's uh, very strong right now at all. He's deceptive, because he's... I, I honestly feel he is a really strong god, but he is, I think his skill cap to understand his subtleties is very high. Like, anybody can play him and, and play the play Chalk the way Chalk's supposed to be played, but to really understand his subtleties, the zone of control that you have with him, you know, and just 
how devastating his alt can be when timed right in a fight, you know, especially a group fight, that you can do some some really really potent shit with him. I mean, there, there's been times where I'm, you know, like, oh, you know, the jungler's over here too in solo lane. I'm like, well, Dan, you should come this way, but I'll probably have it under control, or I'll have two very low-hanging fruit for you when you get here. I like the low-hanging fruit version better, but <laughs> sometimes it's the other one. Dude, it's like, I need, I need help. I need help. There's the, the jungler's here. Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> That's me and Chalk and Never mind, come over here and hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. So how your game's been, Dan? Well, uh, you kind of sparked my sparked my memory when you said about uh, subtleties in playing characters, because, God, I played against the most fucking annoying Nuwa of my life the other day. She was so good at Nuwa and understood, like, what would be really fucking annoying to do and work really well, she would come up in her fog with her passive active and get real close to you and hit you with it and then just drop minions stun and her whole team would just destroy you. And that was how they engaged every fight. She would just take somebody out like that. And we couldn't really stop it because, like, yeah, we're throwing shit at her fog, but good luck, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was in that game, right? I believe so. Yeah, dude, she was, uh, she was good. She yeah, was definitely. really good at Nuwa, and it pissed me off. I've never once fought against someone that actually used their passive so effectively so often. But then I learned how to go against it, and we won. But still, it was like, dude, fuck you, stop. It's when he did like, it, like, the uh, third time, Grayson that's when I was like, week. okay, you fucking bitch. Yeah, it's kind of like Wraithen said last week, pay attention to people's tendencies, and you're like, I remember, like, a couple engages in, you're like, damn, dude, all right, she's really good, because she understands how to do this, but she just keeps doing it, so, and we're like, okay, you know, we were able to basically shift gears from there, and and be all right. Yeah, then it was just stay away from the fog, <laughs> and laugh. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, we're going in. Oh, I I got one. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, me day up very much. You're welcome, hey, well, you dude. Like more I'm Capri. so glad I that know. I could do that for you. I got one. I got one. <laughs> you know what you should do, Dad? What? You should create a picture where it's that gnome from Gnomeo and Juliet pull it, oh, hanging up his rod saying I got one and have a little chef special Kepri hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I got uh, one. I got one. Now, dude, we did have some good games last night, though, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't lose. So that's good. I th I We played three games in a row and we, we didn't lose, and I was like, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Going out in the high note. I am getting the hell out of here before it goes south. <laughs> uh, that's really all the... Uh, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, folks. The memories are starting to come back to them. They're flowing back. No, I just wanted to see... Oh, never mind. Was this before the last recording or no? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, by the way, I still hate on her. Still can't play him correctly. Never will be able to. Thank God he's almost diamond, and I don't have to try anymore. Don't know what it is. Hate him. Can't do it. Can't Dude, hit his alt right. Can't hit his one happens. two ever. Every time yeah, I, I two I get people, surprised every I think time it's I gonna kill that. them, and they walk away with one hit point because they're out of my goddamn range. <laughs> I'm like, man, I hate this character so much. Dude, you just can't click with every guy. It's, it's not how it works. I, why on her, though, man? He's so my style, too. I don't know. Aggressive, guy, early game stomper. Guy, have you even been playing Smite this week? Is Guy even here? Oh, no. Guy's dead. Guy's dead? You guys are dying. Oh, yeah, he has a BRB, so... Beagle, how your game's been going this week? I forget, who was I playing last night in that assault? You didn't answer me. Either. I don't know. Which assault? 
The one you were talking about. I'm looking, oh. I'm looking, I'm looking. You were oh. AMC. Oh, yeah. In Assault. Oh, oh, Assault. Oh, you were Anubis. Anubis. Anubis, that's who I was, yeah. I've been actually really good with Anubis recently for some reason. Sorry, I thought you said me, a real first it. time. No, I do not. It's not what I said at all, Dan. All right, but as good as Anubis. Yes, I have been hitting my wraps, actually killing people with my alt because I used to always like either alt too late or just like <laughs> I don't even know. I just always sucked. And recently, I keep getting Anubis and Assault. And I do really well. I forget what my score was last night. I think it was like 11, like one or two. And something. I think only one, but maybe two. I think two because of items and stuff. Mm, yeah. Actually, no. I think I only did. No, wait. I died once because I remember I bought. You were I like had, one, one. But you had. you That one death, you bought a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you bought boots, uh, Bancrofts, and and tier one uh, pen when you went uh -huh, back. Yeah, that's and a lot I, of cash. I love that I went back and then I just immediately bought another lifesteal item though, because of Nubis. <laughs> and that's yeah, okay. Because of Nubis. Yeah, you definitely did a nice chunk of damage there. The the, the enemy Scylla did pretty good. I, I will say though that. Uh, I don't know what skin she was using. Do, do you guys know which skin she was using? Because her crush was hard to see. Like, there was a lot oh, of times she where, was like, using, I She was either using... I think she was using the play one. The kids yeah. play, child's play. I, like, like, I kept seeing in this circle. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to go in that. And it would go off and I would be hit. I'm like, oh, this circle's kind of got, like, this bigger circle to it that I could see or something. I don't know. It was awkward, but it... It got me quite a few times, but, yeah, I, I was okay. I was raw. Yeah. I'm raw. Raw. He was rock in that raw. Yes, I most certainly was. Yeah. Ha, 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 You got any other games, Beegs, before we get uh, moving on? Oh, here? I almost got a pentakill last night. Actually, and then dumbass. I got an unofficial one again. <laughs> Beagle so has this tendency of getting kills. a triple kill and then turning around just out. Nuh uh Okay? I'm out of abilities. I had no abilities. And I was just making sure that I wasn't gonna freaking die. Nah, you're a wussy. You is. <laughs> you should have heard these two last night. Dan's like, no, turn around. Go back in there. I got it. It's no a pencil. You get your ass in there and get those kills, big old girl. Like. <laughs> uh. Okay. And, but, and it's funny because I had like no health at that point and it had escaped and I'm just standing in the healing circle back in lane listening to these two go at it and her turning around going back in and killing the other two. <laughs> it was like, me I didn't get the penta, but living through Beagle. Like, we have to get another Penta Beagle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, gosh, yeah. Dan, there. Jeez, I did it. Okay, gosh. Kill them all. <laughs> So, so, Kill the uh, humans! <laughs> Kill the Frantic, humans! Have, have you gotten a penta yet? Uh, I actually haven't. I think I yeah. I I've only really played support, and uh, when I get the some other role, I just tend to play really passively, so I don't mess up for my team. Yeah, I, um, I get that. I'll tell you though, there's been a time or three when I've been to the support and. Full on support build, but I'm like looking at the way the battle's folding out. Like, well, sometimes you just gotta clean up this mess. Sometimes you just gotta clean up the mess. I know I had a a Sobek game where I was Sobek support, and I don't know if my team was just brain dead or what, but they just wouldn't do damage. So I just kept doing it and doing it myself. And eventually, at one point, I had a triple kill, and I was looking around like, you know. If I hit my abilities, I am going to get a Penta. There's no getting around it. They both have one HP. And I missed my dash, and somebody else got the kill. Yeah, you yeah. missed your dash. I kind of remember that. Yeah, I thought if I would have like hit that. the pluck, it would have positioned me to kill the other guy, too. But since I pa dashed, past, dashed past the guy, it put me so far away from both of them, I couldn't get either of them. Yeah. 
I know one time I was Sylvanas, and it was in mid lane, and shit was going down. And there, the whole enemy team was literally 10% or less health. And I'm just like looking at them all like, if I can like maybe get a little bit of luck here, because I knew most of my team's abilities were down. You know, like it was like one of those moments where all the explosions were done, and it was just that moment in time where it was kind of transitioning to, all right, we're all still alive. We all just used everything we had. What's next? And I'm just like, I didn't use my shit yet. You know, I'm like, I still got shit here. And I just didn't quite manage to get lucky enough to pull it off. But needless to say, we did win that fight. Mm. So wait, I didn't actually, I didn't actually get to talk about the other one. Oh, go, go right ahead. I was playing Arena by myself. This was like the one game I played by myself. And um, I was just like, we were up at their fountain. And I didn't even really realize it. We were just up there killing people. And all of a sudden I hear Quadra kill. And I was like, oh, that was me. Huh? Wait, where's that Loki? Oh my god. Oh my god, please come here. Goes invisible. I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> you got away. Nothing worse than when, yeah, you, you, Loki's you get your quadra You play Loki, Loki you're, look, you're a piece Loki's of trash. Like, poof. Poof. If you play Loki, I don't care who you think you are, you're a piece of trash. Dude, <laughs> dude did any of you see that tweet this week from that guy who has like 100,000 Loki worshippers? No. Yeah, that guy can die. I don't fucking care. Seriously? It's a, go out on Twitter. Uh-huh. It won't be hard to find. It's there. I've seen it quite a few times where I like, dude, I props to you for being dedicated to one guy, but you are an asshole for picking Loki. Yeah. Like Loki is Actually, not even. You know, he's like, probably crying in his sleep right now because Loki's at his worst. Ah, uh, that that is just mm. <laughs> uh, I could not believe that when I seen that one. Do you guys remember when I got an instant quadra kill? With a Hercules push, yes, dude, that, oh, that was just amazing. keeps coming yes. into my brain right now. Cause didn't I like raw all the group of them, and it like didn't kill any no, of them, you, and then you, it was I somebody did. Ganesh ulted, somebody raw ulted, and I Hercules pushed. Yeah, like I I hit them, and it didn't kill him, and then you pushed them all through the Ganesh law. <laughs> yeah, and it got uh, an instant quadra kill with one push. If the, if there would have been a fifth person. I would have got that trophy. <laughs> I would have got that trophy with a fucking Hercules push. Can you imagine how legendary I would have been? Eh, you know. I would have put that on YouTube. Dumbass guy that sucks at Smite <laughs> gets a fucking pentakill with one ability and it's a Hercules push? Come on. That's hilarious. Everyone's like going to expect Scylla alt, you know, whatever. Perk push, baby. The real Penta ability. Yeah. Guy got his on Xbox with his. I think I heard that they fixed that. You can't do that that way anymore. Wait, what? Mm Mm-hmm. You mean like they can't, like. Has to be one hit. That's stupid. I thought it was one ability. I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. I, I was talking to some people and they were like, no, they changed it. So that Scylla won't do that anymore with that ability. But I don't know. I think that's a little bullshit. I think maybe they don't know. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to say anyone doesn't know what they're talking about unless I do. And I don't. And you don't. So you won't. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah, all right. So, hey, since uh, someone's still AFK. Uh, hey, Guy, how were your games this week? Wow, that's like been the most entertaining he's been about that for a long time. <laughs> Nice. That was good. Yeah, well, you know, hey, sometimes life happens. She has the BRB, but we're going to move on. So, um, I don't know, Frannick, I- I'm kind of I- intrigued with your repertoire of games and, and how you, how would you compare Smite to a lot of these other games that you've played? What What would you say it's, best strength is and maybe it's greatest weakness 
Uh, I think the biggest strength of Smite for me in the at least MOBA genre is uh, the way you play it, like where you can see it from this uh, third person view and uh, you walk around with WASD. I think the strength is just the difference from the other MOBAs basically. And I also think that the early game of Smite in general is uh, more fun than most MOBAs actually. Like there's mm-hmm. usually a lot of action in the lanes and even if you just farm in mid, it's not just staying in your lane killing minions, right? You have to go into the jungle, get the buffs, and you'll probably get invaded or invade the other team. And it's it's usually a lot of action going on early game. And I believe the weakness, right now at least, from my opinion, is the fire giant. How slow it is in the late game, where you kind of just look at the enemy team standing on the other side of fire giant, and you're just kind of dancing around, not doing anything. The old fire giant dance, yeah. Yeah. Dirt Nap not... Dad gets really impatient and angry during that dance. D- I he do. He feels like I'm we're like, just wasting time. Can we just fucking time. fight already? And I'm like, <laughs> bro, we have to wait for them to do something stupid. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like like the time they didn't realize we had a ward over there so we could see where they're all at. And I was playing Ares, and all five of them stood behind the same rock. On like, the <laughs> same tile. Like... Like, like, shoulder they were to shoulder. All I'm like, standing guys, there guys, waiting, guys, ready guys, for please, some please, idiot all. to come through. <laughs> and dad's just like, guys, 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 guys. And he blinks, blinks over the wall, and air results, and it was hilarious. Oh, I could not believe they did that. It's like, yeah, dude, boards. Like, I don't even know if games. some of them got their beads off because I think they were just so fucking like, what? We were ambushing you! <laughs> Wait <laughs> yeah. a minute! This wasn't in the script. They're furiously flying through their little book. They're like, "This isn't, this isn't right." What the? Yeah, that that, that was a good <laughs> moment. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely uh, understand what you what you mean by that fire giant dance, though, because I, I see it when I watch the pro game so often, and you know, it's he just hates like, it. it's like, oh, come on! I know it's. You're just, it's like a game of chess, you know, you're jockeying for that advantage before you engage, you know, and, and that can be a little boring at times when. Whose assassin does something like, stupid first? <laughs> yeah. Like who, who, which person can we just like, oops, you made the mistake. You know, it's like water boy. When, when the kicker's doing his onside kick, he's looking around. Who's my bitch. There he is. You know, and that's when the engagement does begin eventually but it's just like man it drives me nuts just watching the it's like a tennis match just, but there's no action it's just back and forth back and forth it's a tennis match with no ball <laughs> <laughs> there's no balls in this match just Somebody swinging gets rackets the balls. just swinging rackets around ah oh, shit <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I I do agree with you though on your on the perspective. I I played a lot of WoW uh, myself and that was one of the big draws to me to to get into this game that it had that that wow look to it yeah yeah i i really like it actually cuz it's just the it's refreshing really like no other moba has this take on it and it's just it's just nice to have a little change even if it's the same genre yeah, yeah. um i think the reason i started playing this game actually was because it was playing world of warcraft and someone was like Yo, I play this game all the time, and it's like, you know, uh, uh, it, it's almost like World of Warcraft Battle Arena. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, that just sounds dumb. And he's like, no, no, it's always the same map and all this stuff. And he told me about it. And I hopped on, and I was like, eh, all right. And then my cousin started playing it too. And yeah, from there it was over. If my cousin starts playing it with me, it's over. <laughs> yeah. He is a little bitch when it comes to his cousin. Oh, hey, you want he's, me to he's do all this? I got, okay. man. He's all I got, <laughs> man. Ah, oh, shit. So what What else uh, have you been enjoying about the game? I mean, three months in, you're, it's, it's such an interesting perspective. And I'm like, I feel like I should be asking you like a million different questions <laughs> because you're being new and, and you being at the playing at the level that you are. And I'm just like, like, I, 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 don't, like I don't even know which way I want to go with this. Here, I'll I'll start off the questioning. Oh, good job, Dan. All right. Right? Can I call you a noob because you're new, or can I not call you a noob because you're better than me and an SML already? You can call me a noob, man. I don't mind. Okay. (laughs) See, that that was important to me, you know? 
<laughs> it's weird because we were talking before the show, and you're like, I asked you if you'd uh, about if you'd ever played Nox support, and you're like, I haven't played most of the gods. And it's just like, yeah, okay, I guess that would be true. There are a hundred of them. It does take some time to chew through that. Yeah, uh, and when you're playing it's quite a big mouthful at your level, you know, you got to focus more than jack of all trades. It, um, definitely sure. Uh, so who who are some of your favorite gods uh, being three months in? Um. Recently, I started playing Hercules support, and I'm mm -hmm. really enjoying him, actually, where I can just kind of run into the enemy jungle at level 1 and kill people. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't really experienced that before. Um, Erlong's also good for that. Yeah, I've been playing a bit of Erlong, too, but I feel like Hercules is just a more fun Erlong, to be honest. Mm. Uh, I really like uh, Sir Ket. Because you kind of just set up your team. I, I really like the gods where you just kind of... If you hit a CC, this guy's going to die if your team is following up. I yeah, That's uh, always kind of been my type of play style. That, that's... That, yeah. That, that, that's, I, that's what I love about sport. Just, you know, when you, when you get that lockdown, and then you get to sit there and smile, because you know what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dad's and, always been the one that's like, here they are, and I've always been the one to knock them down. Like silver platter, yeah. And then there's My people like Guy, you know, who are a pain in the ass. But anyway, mm -hmm. keep cursing us out over nothing. Dude, he's been cursing so bad this first part of the show. I don't even know that he's going to make it through any of that. Y'all might like, hear him for a long time. Just edit me out. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we finally got a clean sentence out of him. <laughs> anyway, back to uh, back to Mr. Breeze here is telling us about some of the gods he likes. Yeah, I don't. I I played a lot of Bacchus because I started playing just when he got buffed. So you can, I think it was you get the drink on level one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And so that was a big one. Everyone was kind of playing Bacchus all the time, and I just figured I'd start playing uh, Kusumbog because I just interrupt every single time he starts burping. And then mm -hmm. I just started auto-winning every lane because everybody played Bacchus, and I just found a really good counter to him, so I just got... That's when I got to Masters, like, pretty fast. Right. Yeah. Ganesh, okay. Ganesha really counters him hard, also. There's a lot of people that counter him, and if if you're going to play Bacchus, you got to be learn how to be patient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all I got to say about that. I think I got three or four stars on Bacchus. I can't remember. At least three. Guy, Thanks you have fucking that. stars on everybody. Shut up. <laughs> guy just loads into a game, and I'm like, you have a star on that guy? He's like, yeah, I got like 14. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like Bacchus. I can't wait for that big cat skin to come out. I just oh, like my God. Fish. Yes. Smacking people with a fish. It's going to be great. Dude, I, I <laughs> just want to see, I wanna see the attack speed meme videos. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you got that from me. Speed. The yep. ring build. You got that from me. Credit to me. The Be ring build on Bacchus. That's what I want to see. I'm going to play slapping. that skin, and I'm going to build a tax speed Bacchus just so I can keep slapping people with a fish. <laughs> smack, smack, <laughs> smack, 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 smack. So, have there been any gods that you played and you're like, okay, yeah, that, not, no, not, not that, not now, not, no, not again? Yeah, I think. As soon as I joined the team, actually, they just told me that Fafnir is, like, the top god right now. You should definitely play him because he fits in any comp, basically. And then I played, like, ten games instantly on him, and I'm like, shit, I can't play this <laughs> god for shit, man. I have no idea how to hit my stuns, I don't know when to ult, and everything was just going terrible. And I've just, like, basically I played about 20 games a day of Fafnir, and... I just learned him a bit, but it's still the kind of god where I'm like, ah, I really don't want to have to play this one, like, not in a real game. Yeah, he was the very first god I played. It didn't go well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care for him very much either. I don't use him. I fucking love Fafnir. <laughs> but, you know, I, no, you guys don't, you know, you guys know who I am. I build everything damage, so... It's a little different. <laughs> One shot people with the hammers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot more fun when you're just slamming people for, you know, half their health 
and then you <clears> all into a dragon, and then you jump on them and do the rest of their health like really quickly. Yeah. It's really yeah. fun. Every time I hear you talk about support, I just think of the Family Guy meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Is, that is so not me. I do not die for kills yes, it is. support. Shut up, Dad. I got tagged in that way too many times. <laughs> it was accidental. I was meaning to tag Dad, but it tagged yeah. you instead. Uh, like shit. Like really? Come on, I people. Dad. I saw that too, and I didn't point it out. I'm like, yeah, that's right. It's really him. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. The truth yeah. comes out. <laughs> it does. It definitely does. Ah, oh, shit, man. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, how how's things been going for you on the uh, you know? Team wise, how's the the competitive level been going for you guys? Pretty Prime and giving you our time, man. Pretty Prime is actually the nicest guy I've met, man. He's so <laughs> kind. He's like the dad of the team for sure. Oh, uh, team dad, high five. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, I think the team is really, really nice. Uh, I was just a bit surprised of uh, like practice times and stuff because when I played Hots, right, we were like the top of the league and we were practicing about six hours a day at least, uh, six days a week. And then here it's more chill, you know? Like, everybody has their side jobs, or, like, their real-life jobs, I mean. Mm -hmm. And we just... uh, It's a lot more where you have to practice in solo queue and then a few games of scrims in the evenings. But overall, I think it's really great. Like, I think I got lucky with the team I got into because they're all really chill and really helpful. They all have a lot of past experiences, so... They're getting me into it pretty fast, I think. It's really cool when you can just kind of fall into the right place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's a big relief to just have people that you get along with as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'll give it that, because, dude, that's kind of how we came together. I mean, we all kind of met up right at the same time, and it was just like, bam, all right, we just- we as a team, and we work well together, and... No, we don't. You know, <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, mm, not really. Uh, you, know, you know, we have our... We have our times. We have our moments. <laughs> but everybody has their moments like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. You don't have those moments, uh, something wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... We're going to church here, boys and girls. That's what oh, we're going to do. We're going to take, take you to smite church. The we're church taking you to split the ch- push. Church of Sobek today. Ooh, church shit. of Sobek. How you yeah, like well, that? We, well, well, we dive into Sobek here a little we'll bit. The, the word of Sobek. Oh. So, um, Guy, what, what's the lore on Sobek? Oh, shit. Hold on, let me tell you. Oh, so, uh, shit. He, this, dude, this dude popped out of a pimple. Um. <laughs> I like him already. He's my favorite. He's then my he favorite. winked at you and said, I'll see you later. That's right. He said, hey, Yuki does my lower. After a while, Crocodile Man, I'll tell you what. So, yeah. Dan, why don't yeah. you hop into some hot abilities here, and then uh, we'll have a, a discussion here with Mr. Breeze on, on about playing this guy and, and whatnot. Uh, I guess I can do that. All right. Please. I'd appreciate uh, it. All right, just because you asked so nicely. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the passive. Sobek's passive is Blessing of the Nile. Sobek's basic attacks and abilities that hit an enemy grant him protections for a short time. The protections is 10, the max stacks is 3, and the lifetime is 6 seconds for a max of 30 protections for 6 seconds. His first ability is Charge Prey. Sobek charges forward at a frenzied pace. If Sobek hits an enemy, he does damage and throws the enemy behind himself. Sobek is immune, immune to knockups while dashing. The damage is 70 to 230 and the plus 50% magic. What? Wait a sec. He's immune to knockup while he's stashing? Hey, quick, man, give it to Sobek. He can stash it safely. While he's whilst dashing. Thank you. Oh, whilst okay. I thought he was dashing, stashing shit. Yeah. While he's stashing you into his team, he's also immune to dash or knockups. Yeah, he's immune to dash. Awesome. Uh, his second ability, Tail Whip. Sobek whips around in a circle, knocking enemies back and doing damage. 80 to 260 plus 40% of your magical power. 
I like abilities like that. Shit. It's like literally the smallest little ability box. That's nice. Sigating Strike. Sobek does an axe attack that damages all enemies in front of him and lowers their healing received. In addition, Sobek heals for each enemy hit up to 3. The damage is 60 to 220 plus 30% of your magical power. The healing reduction lifetime is 4 seconds. The healing reduction is 50%, which is a lot, by the way. And the heal is 20 to 60 plus 10% of your magical power. Lurking in the waters is his ultimate ability. Sobek submerges himself where he gains 30% protections, regenerates mana, is immune to crowd control, and he slows all enemies. When Sobek emerges, he damages all enemies in the radius. Canceling the ability decreases the damage. The damage is 350 to 950 plus 80% of your magical power. The submerged lifetime is 5 seconds, the submerged slow is 20 scaling to 40, and the submerged mana regen is 10% per second. So that's 50% of your mana for free. Eh, I honestly I honestly didn't know about the mana regen. <laughs> I'm not going to lie It took me like literally two years to figure out that there was mana regen on that ability. It took me like two years, but I finally figured it out. <laughs> I'm like, on a whole new plane it? now. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. We do this. We do this section every week, and I swear I learn something that I don't know every week. Yeah, yeah it's every week. So so every stupid. week, at least one of us is like, "Wait a second, that does what?" Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, "God damn this game!" So don't oh. feel bad. I've been playing for four years. Yeah. Well, there's a hundred gods more or more now. There, you know, all Fucking, four different abilities. They're flying out of the oven That's like hot Four hundred some abilities that do change. You know. Once a year or so, almost, you know, there's a quite a large portion of them that are slightly different now than what they once were. Right, they get changed, they get buff nerfs. <laughs> Reworks. Yeah. That, that's kind of why I like the game, because they're, the things that are static are good, and the things that are changed just kind of help flow the game a little bit one way or another. Now, I think that's another one of the reasons I like Smite is because it has that different feel to it frequently. Right. You're a different all feel. Right. Was that like it for a, the abilities? Yes, that was all the abilities because we learned they had mana now. On the mm. whole. Yeah. So, uh, so, hey, I did my job, bro. Don't try and audit me. I did my job. I read the lore. My lore. All right. Well, Frantic, it is now your turn to you know tell tell a little bit how you like to play Sobek. uh as i said earlier what i really like in playing support is to just set up your team for success right and i mean his one is just the perfect <laughs> spell for that right like you just run in pick someone and say come on guys here he is it's literally the perfect one of the perfect gods to just i got one i got one here yeah. you go like kill this no, it's 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 like not even quite Hercules where you have to use two abilities to do it either. It's just yo, get the fuck back to my team. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> and then I'm just and then I'm just gonna run straight at your team, by the way. And they're not gonna be able to help you. <laughs> yeah, when I when I started playing against the better players, like in a team setting, I kinda died a lot because I have quite an aggressive playstyle and I just get picked off because they're also better players than me, right? And mm -hmm, then yeah. so big is just an absolute tank machine. You can't get CC'd while you're ulting. You can heal yourself, knock everybody back, and it's just feels like a really good god for me to play. Mm hmm Plus his N passive gives him protections. Yeah, exactly. And uh Yeah, thirty three know... protections at level one is actually kind of a right. really big deal. A so I don't see can why walk it... up to a hunter and just basic him to death. I don't like see why he's not more popular around uh, more people in the professional scene because it feels like he does have a really strong kit. Honestly, if if you if you ask me, it's because I think that missing your pluck puts you so far out of position that it's too high risk, high reward for an yeah. SPL game, maybe. Yeah, I think, I think that's you're right about kinda that. their their take on it. Cause that's man, I only play Sobek when my balls are hanging out. Like 
Because, if yeah, if you miss the pluck, you're going into the enemy team with no way out. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like Sobek for that reason, because so, I'm an aggressive player anyways. I, I like to jump in there and just get with it, so I kind of like Sobek for that reason. I am an extremely aggressive player, which is why when I play support, I always get, you know, I always turn into the, uh, yeah! Yeah! You're heavy! <laughs> yeah! I'm going, I'm going down! down. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, sometimes you just gotta have fun. That's right. But hey, but okay. you know... Back to, back to playing so bad. There's a, there's a reason, though. I'm not the support. I got Dicey for that. He carries me. So, how do you build out his abilities, first off? That's kind of important. Uh, if I'm starting in lane, I usually just start with my two because it has the it has even more damage than the three, and it knocks the enemy gods back, so they can't clear the wave as fast. And then I just max the three, get my one at level three, so I have all the abilities at level three. Then I just max out the three and ult first, and then max my one last. He's got that natural anti heal on him, makes him really good right now too with his healing meta. Yeah, that's true. You might might be seeing a rise of Sobek with with the healing meta popping up. A fifty percent healing reduction for four seconds. That's uh, that's nice. Yeah, it is. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all, right? That you put a pestilence on him. That's seventy percent. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. Just for existing seventy percent anti heal. You know, I put a divine rune on him, and what do you get? Ninety percent. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely uh do some anti heal with him. But um so item wise, that's you know building out support's always a little bit fun with that. It's um, hard to talk items with supports because it's, it's kinda so dependent. dependent. Yeah. Although but I, uh it, I still feel like Greece, most supports yeah. build like pretty the same. Yeah. Like, usually you just kinda... get the the focus boots or the protection boots, right? The tank boots. Mm -hmm. And then most supports just build Thebes' first item now, unless you're a bruiser like Sir Ket or Hercules, where you start Blackthorn. But usually you just go for uh, the Thebes and then, like, the Sovereignty and the uh, Oni Hunter's Garb or Shogun's, one of those mm -hmm. items. I love Oni Hunters right now. So good. Yeah, it's really nice. And then just for the, I usually end up the build with the double cloaks, the spirit robe and the mantle of discord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the spirit robe with that percentage mitigation is really nice. Yeah, the spirit robe plus oni plus your passive. Mm -hmm. You kind of yeah. just never die. Shh, nobody talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love those moments. It's like everybody just stops. <laughs> ah, okay. We can continue on. I'm just sitting here looking over the item list. Yeah, like you said, supports are really dependent, though, on, on who you're playing against. So yeah. You can always yeah. throw a Pestilence in there if you need to. or You know, the, I am i haven't played a lot of support lately because we haven't been playing as much Conquest. Or I haven't been, at least. And uh, But one thing I've always liked, and again, it's very, you know, what the enemy team comp is, but the Gauntlet of Thebes, getting that early... It is just so big because there's so many times where people are like, no, you should, you should buy, you know, your your physical defense first, you know. And I'm like, yeah, but by the time I finish that build, I'm supposed to be rotating the mid, and now I have a physical defense item against the mage, and it's not going so swell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But mm -hmm. if I have Gauntlet of Thieves, I'm building stacks. I'm getting, you know, I got health and defenses for both. Not so bad. You know, and, you know, hey, Duke Sloth did the math. It, it, it kind of works out that that's a good way to go. So I I, I still like that. I still think that is a, a good way to go because, it, it, you know, if it's a traditional team build out, you're going to be seeing magic right around that first items buy. And it'd probably be better to have something that's going to protect you from, from that too. So I don't know, I've had a lot more success with that than, than not. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's the same for me, really. I feel like most supports in both both SPL and SML are just starting Thebes now, and then you're usually just fully stacked by the time you're fighting for Gold Fury or Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, being fully stacked by that point is really good because then it turns into an aura. And if, like, per se, if you're able to cut off the enemy support in any way and his isn't stacked by that point, that's a big swing in a fight. Yeah, it's a good advantage to have. Yeah. That's like I a 40 agree. protection swing, basically, because you're up 20 and they're basically down 20. Well, no, not really. You're just up 20. Yeah, but overall, again, support's just so, so dependent on the team comp. But that's just pay attention to what's going on, what they're building, who you're seeing, who the real problems are. Pay attention to where people are in builds. Yeah. Get yeah, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't learned all that yet about the how every role builds their items yet. I'm mm -hmm. kind of struggling with that since I haven't played them myself, and I don't know what situation you build what and how to counter it. So I think that's yeah. my my next thing to dive into and learn all about. Yeah, it's there really it's time. really interesting to talk to somebody that's like really skilled, but just not knowledgeable. Because usually we talk to people that are very knowledgeable and skilled, or very knowledgeable and not skilled. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like yeah. me. I'm very knowledgeable, but not skilled. So it's it's really interesting <laughs> to get this perspective, and it's cool. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, Shoot, I lost my train of thought. Damn it, Dan. There we go. <laughs> what? You can't just pass the train over to a passenger, bro. <laughs> so, Sobek, you kind of worry about who you pluck. Sometimes you don't want to pluck the wrong person into your teammates, because that happens to me a lot when oh I play with Sobex. It seems yeah. like they like, pluck a Pele right on top of my ma on me, and I'm the mage. So, it's like, oh, okay, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, it's happened a few times that I pluck in an Ares and he gets the four men ult on the rest of my team. And <laughs> I'm just like, sorry guys. Hey, sorry. you know what? I thought he was that going guy, I didn't want any of that. <laughs> that guy, I forgot. His ult does that thing. My bad, guys. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. My bad. <laughs> Do I want to see that video? <laughs> Honestly, uh, one of my least favorites is I'll be sitting in the back line as a hunter or an assassin waiting for my time to go in, and then all of a sudden I see this fat blob flying at me, and all of a sudden jean Quee's in my face, and Sobex Oof. up in their front line doing whatever dumb shit, and I'm like, awesome. I just got one shot, and the rest of our team is dead to his ult while our Sobek is valiantly defending us from the other four. <laughs> like... Thanks, bud. You literally killed us, and then yourself. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but, you know, that shit happens. It happens. That happens. Uh, Especially so, with jean Quee and stuff like that, because sometimes you're like, ah, eh, they'll blow him up, right? And then you're like, what? <laughs> mm, right, jean Quee. Sometimes so he really nasty. just blows my goddamn mind what he can do. Yeah, Sobek, not, not Zong. Keep it keep yeah, straight, Sobek. Dan. That's what I'm talking about, Sobek. Yeah, sure you mm -hmm. are. Yeah. So, uh, so, I almost got a pentakill with the man. Or the dial. I don't want to hear we're, it. We already talked about that, Dan. Stop I don't want to hear stuff. it. I don't want you to think that I'm thinking about something else that you're thinking. I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking about that. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. So, playing against Sobek. You roll out in the lane, and there's a Sobek on the other side. What are some things to keep in mind? Uh, usually when I play against Sobek, I kind of just start out with the shell relic, and then as my second relic, if he keeps plucking me and I die, I just go beads and just get rid of that threat. So if he plucks me, I just beads, and then he's the target instead of me, pretty much. Mm-hmm. That's a big uh, thing. If you beads a Sobek pluck, you're basically CCing him and putting him out of position. Yeah, exactly. And then otherwise, you just kind of play behind the minions more. Like, you, Sobek is really a pick that you just have to respect, and if you play properly around it, he's pretty much useless. Because, I mean, the yeah. biggest part of his kit is just to pluck, and if you don't get plucked, then he's not really doing anything. Yeah, I think what you said right there is a big piece of smite that some people miss, and it's like respecting the character for what they do. All right, in other words, don't run up to the edge of their tower and sit there and look at Sobek. <laughs> yeah, don't walk up to Hercules Solo's tower and dance and stand still. <laughs> don't, you know, walk into mid lane with no no jungler with you or anything like before the minions come as a level one mage and stand in their tower line or whatever 
Because someone's going to come out of the jungle and just fucking kill your dumbass. And, like, instantly. And it's going to suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I started playing the game and I first played against the Kusembo, Herc, and Sobek, I just got pushed under their tower so <laughs> many times, man. Yeah. And I always get so angry at myself because I, I know what they can do, but I just don't think about it yet, you know? Like, when I'm just learning. and yeah. You're, like, trying to figure out what the hell your shit does. You're not trying yeah. to worry about what their shit does right now. <laughs> um. I remember one game I was playing Freya mid, and I think I was solo queuing, I don't even remember really, it was a long time ago, but I was playing someone mid where the the play was to, you know, run up to the mid lane and not help speed buff and clear and then go take red, which is pretty sure it was Freya, because that's, mm, that that's sounds right pretty Freya. fucking ballsy, so it sounds like Freya. Um, so I was I was about to do that, the wave gets there. And all of a sudden, Kuzumbo Jungle comes out and pushes me through the wave into his tower. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this game's over. And yep, that <laughs> game was over. Have you ever shut down a Freya pre-level one? Yeah, it doesn't go well for that Freya the rest of the game till the last end, you know, five minutes when they're on our Titan. And I'm like, guys, I'm finally level 12. Oh, we lost. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely don't want to fall behind the Freya. Guys, I got level 20. Oh, surrender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's like probably the most important thing playing against Sobek is just knowing how far he can reach that pluck. Yeah, if you if you can dance right around the edge of it and make him pluck and just stand right in front of you, <laughs> that's the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, Don't miss oh, the corrupted man. arena and Sobek. I missed oh the corrupted arena. He had to dance, he had to dance that, that dangerous edge because he wanted to flick you over his shoulder. So he had to be over where, you know, Hercules could, say, push him in or on her could impale him right in. And <laughs> Playing so back in that was like swinging church bell-sized balls around all over the place. What's the corrupted arena? Corrupted it arena, holes. it had it holes there. in the fucking ground that you could just throw people in and it was an instant death. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was like <laughs> a fun little, really fun. like a fun little side thing. You know what I mean? Like right. a fun little side game mode. And it, yeah, it was so much fun. People were playing like Shing Chen, Hercules, on her, and they were just <laughs> chucking as many people as they could into the hole. <laughs> oh god, I got so um, many. I got so good with Zing Chen during that. One of those. Period. One of those uh, variations, Dad got his first pet to kill, sort of. No, no, it was that was during the the bonus time in the arena. Yeah, no, so that was during the back. bonus time in the water one. Remember when the water was the thing that insta killed you uh, instead of the hole? Yeah, I didn't like the water one. I hated I the, water the hole one. one. Well, I was in the was bonus the time with the lava because I knocked somebody into the lo- I knocked the oh. thunder into the lava. Was it lava? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was water, but that one I guess was later. That was yeah. the that was the my, Loki my, my, adventure. My crap penta kill. Yeah. Speaking of that, we haven't had an adventure in forever. I wonder if we're uh, done with them. Uh, I don't know. I'd kind of be sad to hear that, but also the adventure was kind of like their battle pass ish thing. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention that much to the the, the details of the Smite news. I've yeah. Just been trying to play okay, the game so lately. here's my little one minute win. Jo- about timing again. I sleep during everything and I never remember to watch patch notes and stuff, which is totally my fault. But I don't know anything about the game anymore. It makes me kind of sad. Like, I have to go look it up all the time instead of being like, I already know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas before, I was working at a normal time and, you know, I could just pop it out on my phone while I was working or whatever. So nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someday they'll. I think they'll catch up with the times and whatnot. But I just wish they would make it a more universal it time. Like I wish yeah. there was a more universal time. Does that make sense? Yeah, that would actually be the better way of putting it. I wish there was a universal time versus. And I don't think there is because I mean, even just trying to get together here to re- record with Frantic is you know we're we're doing it nine mm-hmm. in the morning. You know, just so you know. Breeze is probably thinking, I don't know what you guys are talking about. SPL comes on in prime time where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, it is, man. It's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. for us, it sucks. It comes on at like 3. 11 in the morning. 11 in the morning yeah. to like, 
I don't three know. Three in the afternoon. Yeah. And it's just like, all right, I was at work. Um, and me, nice. I work third shift, so I was sleeping. Like, I just got home a couple hours before that, and now I went to bed. And I wake up after it's over. All the notifications are all over my phone and uh, the internet. So as soon as I get on to look, it's, I already know what happened. Yeah. And then, and then like just that happening so much demotivated, demotivated me from checking at all. And now I'm just like completely out of the loop. I don't know anything. Uh, how about the renegades looking strong? Who? Oh, like, no, I'm just like kidding. I know who the renegades are. <laughs> Team Visa. We actually scrimmed them uh, a few times before they left. Though we actually played against them when I tryouted for Outcold first, and we actually did pretty good against them. That's really cool. That's good to know. I think uh, I think they got the the good the good practice here in EU against the small there league. There you go. Yeah, fun baller's been going off. Yeah, that's you know, I remember during the draft, I kept looking at fun baller and like I should take him. Oh, no. no, no Here we go, they. guys. I'm gonna. Somebody I'm gonna... did though, didn't they? Yes, I think. Uh, I don't know who took them, but somebody took them. So how bad's our our Smite Fantasy Points League? Do you and you got you were, you're catching up. You and Yuki are both catching up. What? Beagle, I was Beagle's gonna say, like way I, far behind. Beagle's I have to out check. of it. Beagle's Beagle might as well. Beagle might as well start getting that cone of shame ready. Hot Dude. Five. Shame. I, I'm so mad. Like Dicey's way out in the fucking lead, mm-hmm. and then I'm way out in the lead in second. Like if it wasn't for him getting auto draft, I swear to God, I'd be so far in the lead right now. It would be yeah. unimaginable. Time, Nobody would be able to touch me. Next time we're gonna have to make them like. If we do it again, they're gonna have to like make their own list and put it in if they can't be there. Yeah, because man, <laughs> that's some bullshit. Yeah. Especially because I, I think that. like two or three of the people that Dicey's auto draft got, I was gonna pick like the next round. And yeah, look who's in the like fucking that. lead, you know? <laughs> yeah, I did make some trades this week though. I did drop. I got Cheerio. Nice, and I nice. Think I got Raffer also. Nice. Beagle, you need to do some trades. Yeah, dude, I was only there because I was told to be there. I don't follow Smite Me stuff, like. <laughs> Yeah, but no, you don't want to wear the cone of shame, so you might no, as well. Am I still beating Dad? Am I still no. beating Dad? No, no, you're super far behind now. <laughs> you're super far behind. You're like still in the two hundreds. Everybody else is up in the four and five, six and sevens. I yeah, don't you, know who anybody you to, is. You need to I talk, don't follow talk this to somebody. Stuff. Make make a make a drop ad or something. Like I, I I like I like the idea of what it is with the fantasy stuff. You know, I, I played a lot of fantasy football back in the day, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the long run, I, I think they just need a little bit more. Like, I don't know how many games my guys have played. I don't know who's scoring me points, who's not scoring me points. Like, there's there's lists of all that stuff. You just like, have to get on their Discord and find it. Yeah, yeah I guess I just gotta dig more, you know. But I like the whole I realistically like the thing, and it gives me all the information. That's you would have to watch the SPL to. You would have to be able to watch the SPL to care enough to dig into that enough, cause, and then you would have known that already. You know, that's just I would have known what that I know. No, you would have known all that stuff that you were saying that they should have. That oh, guy told you they saying. do have, but because you can't watch the SPL like fully. Yeah, but uh, the things that I did watch this week, since we've been talking, you know, about you know memes and whatnot, you know, videos we've seen online. I seen uh, I think this was on Twitter. <laughs> um, somebody was playing Sun Wukong in Joust <laughs> and had a Giannis Sorry. ally on their team. Well, the Giannis kind of altered from like the bull demonish area towards the enemy team's tower where the Sun Wukong was fighting, and yeah, he ended up clipping the portal and teleporting out into Never Never Land. <laughs> yeah, I thought I think he, I think he was an Achilles. <laughs> I don't know. It was a war so. of sorts, but yeah, it was. Dude, it was just like he's just in there fighting. The next thing you know, it's just a whoop. Yeah, I think he. Uh, <laughs> I had to watch the video again, but I believe he like he used his dash, the Achilles dash, and like clipped it and it was gone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gone. I can see my house from here. Uh, I don't know, you're doing that with the Ares ult and the Giannis portals. That would be fun. Uh huh. That's when it used, I think they fixed it now, but you used to be able to put the Giannis portal in the wall. And Ares ult and go through the portal and pull everybody else through it. They fixed it? Wait, was that I a thing? So. 
No, that, <laughs> was that a thing. used to be a thing, and it happened in SPL, and it was insane. Oh, shit. That sounds hilarious, actually. In HOTS, yeah. we had kind of a similar thing, where one one of the heroes could uh, eat a person, like a Fenrir ult, basically, and then another guy could set up a portal as well, and you just kind of eat him, take the portal, and you bring him to your own base. Oh, no. Oh, I love those kind of combos, man. Those oh, are my yeah. favorite. They're fun. They are fun. But yeah, that, that worked. So people Dude. could, like... I know a couple times we did some funny shit with that. How about uh, the Horus ice cream bomb this week? Oh, yeah, American Zombie. That was sick. Hell yeah. Dude, that was great. <laughs> Dude, he's just like... He's running out, and then he just sees the Horus alt, and just, oh, let me back into that, and... Wait for it, and charge, and land, and boom. Somebody wanted ice cream. I've seen Hello, a lot of, lot of boom. funny videos with horrors. A lot of uh, crazy things that Hercules throwing a boulder out of the, ho- out of the horse all is hilarious. Wow. Oh, boulder throw, yeah. Dude, there's been a lot of good ones with that. There's so many things that you could time so crazily with that. Oh no, the Daji one, that was the better one. Where she was in the base and he, he she hit her ult and then Horus like I don't know, it was weird how they did it, but he transported behind him and she chained them all from the base somehow still and it pulled them all into the base. Damn, that would be feels bad. A Daji ult that could go as far as Horus ult? <laughs> it was as far as Horus ult, yeah, it was forever oh my away. God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd that, be pissed. I'd be wicked. I'd be fucking throwing my controller. I'd be done. <laughs> I'd now, be fucking do, out for that with, day. Wonder if you can do it with Aries Holt. Oh, I'm he, sure he you can. He everybody and then horse them into the uh Dude, backwards into the horse base. instead of horse alting in, you're horse yeah. alting them into your fountain. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't how it works. Is yeah. It? Because you, you could you yeah, can Ares, if, if you timed it right, I guess. Yeah. If Aries alts five people. And then Horus's alt goes off and pulls Ares back to your fountain, and all five people get chugged into your fountain by Ares. That's five kills for Ares, baby. Garen Dude, fucking hell yeah. I just think the timing on that would be ridiculous. Oh, we're it's doing not it. that hard, honestly. We're doing it. We're getting an arena and we're doing it. Like All <laughs> what would have to happen is <laughs> Horus would have to go forward into five people, make himself bait, and alt. And everybody would jump on him. Ares comes up and blink alts the five. And as they're being teleported into the fountain, they get Ares ulted into the fountain. Yep. Easy. Easy peasy. It might take like two, three tries tops, and then it's on lock. Well, you guys have homework today then. Mm-hmm. While I'm editing, y'all can get a video clip of that and then show it to me. <laughs> Easy. Tell me how easy it was to pull that off. Easy. Easy. Oh, Probably not man. as easy as we think it is. Okay, so back on the Sobek. We, we went way off Sobek here, but uh, what's your favorite skin to use on Sobek? <laughs> Who's Sobek? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Sobek? Yeah, we get off topic around here sometimes. <laughs> it's okay. I actually started playing Sobek because I got the Australian skin. Oh, the Cracky. The Cracky. Cracky. Yeah. The crocodile. So actually, the only reason I started playing him was because of that skin. So that's definitely my favorite. It was oh, right no. when I was learning all the VGS things, and then I had to buy the voice pack for him as well. And I was just spamming. Uh, <laughs> you are right, mate. <laughs> you are right, mate. <laughs> that's that's gonna get that good voice line you can spam. For me, it's the Kukulkan, uh the ice dragon. It's stay frosty. <laughs> yeah, everything I do. Yeah. Be right back. Stay frosty. Hi. Enemy stay ultimate frosty. down. Stay frosty. He's got yeah. a lot of pretty decent skins. I like the land shark. I like the kaiju. Oh, kaiju. The voice pack is awesome for mm-hmm. kaiju, too. Because it's like the newscaster talking about it. Yeah, yeah. I like the, the monster has entered the battlefield. <laughs> or something. He's just got like, that awesome dragon skin. Dragon's oh, light. hell yeah. Dragon's Light. That's the one where they yeah. beefed him up, made him a big boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's a good one, too. But I, I love the voice pack for the, the kaiju. Yeah. 
kaiju. He's spot. got a lot. Of, he's got a pirate skin too. Yeah, he's got a bunch of cool skins. He don't have a lot of skins, but all of his skins are pretty decent. I would agree with that. Yeah, which is yeah, cool. It's hard to say that most you know not every god has all decent skins. Some of them are kind of like wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> Especially some of the older ones, like Isis. I think her mm-hmm. skins need a touch-up. I can't wait. Actually, I honestly can't wait till Isis gets a new skin. Because it's been so long. And she has really shitty model. So, I think they could do something pretty cool with her. Really glow her up in a skin. So, uh, why did they uh, stop doing Heroes of the Storm pro-, pro scene? Was it just not enough interest in it? or? Yeah, I think they just kind of started losing money on it, to be honest. And they also had the fiasco with the Diablo mobile thing. Where oh, they, yeah, I remember that. They fell back in their stocks or whatever. <laughs> and they had they had to shut something down, and they just picked the smallest thing, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want a Diablo mobile game. We want Diablo 4, damn it. What did you say? Do you want the Diablo mobile game? I'll take them both, really, but I want Diablo 4, personally. Yeah. I mean, they got a lot of hate for it, but, I mean, I'm going to play it, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I like Diablo, so... Yeah, I played Heroes of the Storm for a little bit, but I just was never very good at it. I was going to, but I'm like, why am I trying to learn another MOBA? I'm just going to get them confused. I've been confused. playing Smite for a little bit. I'm not really good at it, but... Yeah, I mean, neither, some, but... I was into it because I was so into... I like Diablo, and I was playing World of Warcraft a lot of the time, so all those characters kind of went mm-hmm. with that game, so... Yeah, it was the same for me, but I had only never played StarCraft, but I really... Like, it's my favorite game genre, it's a huge company, and it has all these characters I already know, so it just seemed right. like a really good game for me. Yeah, it definitely sucks that that one had to be the one to go. I kind of wanted to be able to play that one whenever I felt like it, you know. I think it's. I think you could still play it, but I think they just took the esports. Yeah, it's down, just the right? esports. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Obviously, is I don't it? pay attention, so I thought when they said when you guys said they like took it down, they meant everything. Well, they they took away most of the like game like the designers, person. developers okay. as well, but. Uh... I mean, the game's still running. People are still playing mm-hmm. it, just not as much updates. Gotcha. Yeah. I remember, remember when I played I like playing the Lost Vikings. <laughs> Dude, there's some old games out there I still like playing. No, those were characters in the game. You could play them. Yeah, they had a lot of fun characters, actually. Like the Lost Vikings, where you just run around as three different characters at the same time. Yeah, it was great. That is some difficult stuff to pull off, though. Yeah, that's probably why I was very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, oh, look, these guys are cool. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> these guys are cool. What the hell is going on, though? I don't know, man. That, that sounds I have a no crazy. idea what's going on. Tries to play three people at once. I'm in danger. <laughs> uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> Anyone with Dirt Nap's dad is their support. I'm in danger. Uh, Come uh, on, man. You guys are mean. Rex. I I approve your support play, Dad. I know. Thank you, God. That that is a good support player. He I plays more support team. than any other support player I know. Other than I mean, Dyson. I would much rather have you than Dan on my team as my support. I'm not gonna lie. Because Dan if, just if like, your charges. Support. He's gone. He's gone. It's like, hey, where's Dan at? Oh, he's in the jungle chasing down two or three people. Yeah, but I'm gonna kill him. Where's the rest of their team? Oh, back here murdering us? It's yeah, but okay, I'm going to kill these two. Don't worry about it, guys. They won't get too far. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Yeah. I'll avenge your deaths. You're the support, yeah. not the Avenger. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. It is funny, though, because what I've learned as playing support is that your team expects you to do everything. They expect you to start the engagements they expect you to you know push and and cc you know the enemy but they also expect that you know while you're doing all this stuff on the front line that you're also completely aware of exactly what's happening on the back line and when that you need to be magically reappear back there and Mm -hmm. and do all the same stuff that they want you to do up on the front side you know all i want you to do is protect me i don't mean i don't care about the other guys Set I mean, that's pretty me. much no, my stance. take them off me. Set them up for me. Take them off of me. 
<laughs> Make up your mind. I just cleaned up this mess. Can you can you keep it key clean for, for ten minutes? Yeah, exactly. I will get all Mr. Incredible on them. <laughs> yeah. So you know that, that is an important thing though, uh is you know, just kind of while I'm on that subject, is listen to your team though when you're playing support. Because if there's if they want you to peel, just go peel for them. That you know. Because then, if if they they're still having a hard time and not killing you, then you know what? That's their own fault, not yours. You're doing your job. They want you to peel, be the peeler. They want you to engage, be the engager. Just listen to them and go with it. The struggle yeah. is just when the team wants the both things at the same time, and yeah. the, the front line is flaming you for not diving, the back line is flaming <laughs> you for not peeling. Yep. Yeah, gotta blame stand somebody. In, stand in the center and just do a sobek call. <laughs> <laughs> Like, fuck you all, I'm just going to sit here under the ground. <laughs> I thought uh, you meant by Sobek alt that you would dance, because that's his real ultimate ability. I've done that at times, all right, where I'm just like, you know what? I'm in the middle of something, and I and you kind of find, like, you're in the, the midst of all this combat, but you're technically not in combat, and it's just like, I'm going to dance. That is the right, that is the right play right now. That's the move. <laughs> That is you know, it's funny because it's it's almost like a taunt in World of Warcraft. Everyone just suddenly turns and is like, this fucker's dancing in the middle of the team fight? Oh, you're going <laughs> down. And it's like, go ahead, I'm the support. Keeps on dancing, baby. Keep the groove flowing. And then all of a sudden, you're getting like quarter health. You just dash away and laugh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a great time. Yeah, there are some good dances out there, too. Yeah, Sir Cat's for- dance is the best. Everyone, go buy Sir Cat's uh, Dance yeah. and check it Sir out. Sir Cat Dance is hilarious. I like Fenrir's Thriller Dance. But... Oh, honestly, I kind of like Hercules. There's nothing better than doing something cool with Hercules and then dancing. There's nothing better than killing somebody that's been annoying you and hip thrusting over their head. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I just... I mean, 100%, you're, you're just correct. Do I need to uh... buy the dance for every god? Honestly, most, <laughs> some of the dances are just pretty worth. <laughs> yeah. I would Hercules, first... Hercules does what Gangnam style. Um, oh, yeah, he does. And the, Sir Cat the... does the the what? What's that shit called? Spl- flash dance. Flash, flash dance. dance. Yeah, I almost call yeah. it the splash dance. <laughs> Basically, pours the water over top of her. That's hilarious. You oh, should tail to prop herself up with. Yeah, that's that's funny. I love that. That is so funny. Every time I play Sir Cat, you know you're walking up to my speed buff in the beginning of the game, and I'm dancing. Oh, I know. <laughs> Guys, my character <laughs> doing something weird. You seeing this? Is my character doing something? Well, look at my dance. Look at my dance. That's what I always say when I get a new emote, too. I'm like, Guys, my character doing something weird? And he'll come over, I'm spamming some emote, and he's like, Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, <sighs> but, yeah. Yeah, sure so, enough. There you go. Yeah, Why are we so bad today at that? I don't know. We just keep early. Stop it. Yeah, it honestly. is a little early. Right, Yuki's not sense. here. That's the real problem. We, we don't have our resident asshole. Yeah. Mm, yeah. We don't Love have our Yuki. resident asshole to keep us all riled up. Yeah, and to be uh, telling me how I'm out of position. Yeah, right, again. Be- Beagle hasn't talked very much either. Or- That's because I can't hear you guys half the time. I've been in and out of this freaking call. That's so that, this is the best I've ever heard you. It's funny. Mm-hmm. Sound pretty clear. But in like two minutes, yeah, I won't be able to hear a word you're saying again. Exactly. I give up. <laughs> That's right. We hear you just fine now. Sound, mm-hmm. Sounds beautiful. There's only about two or three minutes left in the podcast, but you're here. Yay! She made it, folks. Yes. Round of applause for the Beagle Girl. Oh, Beagle geez. Girl is going through <laughs> troubles. With her, Dad, I'm gonna go. Dad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be Alex and say I'm gonna go on podcast well, strike and see fix her internet. Smile and nod, <laughs> smile and nod. Yeah, just oh, when man. she was sounding so great. It's, I think it's just when she starts complaining it goes out. <laughs> no, I, it goes out and then I complain. <laughs> that, that is it. That would be great. That would be great. Ah, uh, shit. I'm also very um, tired. Can you put that on her smite mic, too? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Beagle. She's going to come down here and kick my ass after the podcast. Yeah, she is. You're going to have to deal with that one. 
Don't even throw the cat on you. Just you wait. I'm gonna throw so I don't even you. have to like threaten her. I just know her cat will take care of her for me. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Upa and Squirrel at you, and then I'm gonna throw Red on top because they all hate each other. That would be funny. Yeah, that just would... get get the three cats that don't like each other and throw them on Dan while he's sleeping. Oh, oh, wait. And then I'll have Bump standing some, by to some, sneeze on you. Someone hold up his blanket. Throw no, the three of them under and pull. And then we all pull the blanket down. Oh, <laughs> and I'll have Bump come and sneeze on you. I'll be Dan. fucking dead. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> oh, shit. They'll be like, ah, oh, how funny. Okay, lift the blanket, lift the blanket. And then, like, my entire intestinal tract will be fucking on the bed. They'll be like, oh. Dan will be bleeding out. Oh, shit. <laughs> A thousand scratches. <laughs> oh, 28 shit. stab wounds. <laughs> All yep. right. Well, hey, it You're is right. that magical time to get things wrapping up here. Uh, Frantic, it was. Uh, a great time having you on the show here. It's always nice to get perspective from across the pond and so forth. Uh, so, you know, hey, if you want, I don't know, uh, you know, if you do any streaming or anything along with things yet, is there uh, anything in that forte or are you just uh, doing the, the, the play, the league play? I'm basically just doing the league play now. I do stream sometimes, but it's very rarely. But yeah. if I stream, I post it on Twitter at BreezeGG. Cool. So uh, there you go. That's how you can uh, track down Mr. Frantic Breeze here if you want to give him a follow on the Twitter there. And uh, how about the rest of you Yahoo's guy? You can find me on Twitter at GSmitey. You can find me on PlayStation at GuyAllSmitey with a little underscore at the end. And you can find me on all other platforms at GuyAllSmitey. Dan? You can find me on PlayStation Island at Dirt X Nap X Dan. You can find me on the Crossplay Continent uh, on Dirt Nap Dan. And I still didn't make a Twitter because I suck and I don't have an email available, apparently. So I have oh to make God, a new one of those. And How old are you? Like 60 or something, dude? Dude, I don't... My God! I don't do Act this your shit, age, man. son. Act your age. I don't do this shit. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, uh, but you can still you can still hit us up on the official at Split Push Podcast with no A, no A, hey. A, A. Now we got gotcha. Beagle Girl. How can they get a hold of you? No, oh, I just don't bother. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm kidding. Um, you can don't. find me on Twitter at Beagle underscore Girl twenty seven and PlayStation at Beagle underscore Girl twenty seven eighty. Mm-hmm. High five, smiling and nod. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, last but not least, you can find good old Dirt Naps Dad here on PlayStation Island on Twitter at Dirt underscore Naps underscore Dad. Um, you know, you can hit those subscribe buttons, you can hit the little heart buttons or favorite buttons, all those little positive things here to let the platforms know that you love us. Uh Seen a lot of new faces in the Discord this week, so thanks to you folks that have been uh, popping in there uh, and striking up conversations and so forth. I uh, appreciate you much joining in, oh, and feel Dad, free uh, to. Oh, you got, you got yes. some dice on you? You got like a 25 numbers on you? Oh, yeah. don't make can, it work. Can, can you roll that giveaway? I, I can do that. I can yeah. definitely do that. So, it's Breeze, a... Uh, is there a VOD for Out Cold Gaming? Do you know? Uh, a VOD for the games? Yeah. I think they upload it on the Pro Smite YouTube channel, uh, okay. where they upload all the console games and all the SPL games as well. 14, guy. 14. 14. Giving away a skin here, it looks like. What we got? What we got? Or is it Battle Pass? What are we giving away? Uh, it, it, it's an what audio is it? skin. <clears throat> audio. audio skin in our giveaway. I gotta find out how to see who's all entered. I don't know how to do that. Uh, you click on the little emote out in the end. So, someone's gonna get a little victory here. Number 14, huh? Number 14 is... Yeah, you do that part, Dad. I can't find it. Well, since Guy is showing his incompetence, let me hop on over <laughs> here to, uh, where is it at? Is it in the giveaways? Yes. It are. is in the giveaways. 
reaction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Jet Kawaii. Jet Kawaii. All right. The yep. cutest jet you've jet ever Kawhi. fucking seen. Sorry, American. You were fifteen. Oh man, this dude oh. cannot catch. American cannot catch a break. Oh, sorry about <laughs> that, buddy. It's sorry rough out here, that. boys. All right. Well, hey, uh, any any. Uh, uh, we're so far out, so yeah, we're good on that shit. So hey, last things last. When it comes to dirt naps, you gotta give them before you take them, and when all else fails, split, split push. 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 push.